Hey everybody, Jay Salen here. Welcome back to Jay Salen Guitar. Sorry it's been a couple weeks since I've posted uh, any videos. Uh, came down with a nasty cold a couple weeks ago, which turned into bronchitis, of course. So I've uh, been coughing quite a bit, so it's kind of hard to make videos uh, when you're coughing. Uh, but anyway, finally back, and uh, today I'm reviewing a Jet uh, brand guitar. So stick around. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So I've been reviewing a lot of sub $200 guitars lately on this channel, and some even uh, less than $100. This particular guitar comes in at around $350. Uh, you can get them for a little bit less than that if you buy them used. I bought this one brand new from Expedition uh, Music in Harbor Beach, Michigan. It's a really small guitar store that my friend Tony Shibakasi owns. I'll post some links in the description if you're interested in checking out his store. And he is a dealer for these uh, Jet brand guitars. And so this one, surprisingly, is not a Telecaster and it's not a Stratocaster. I've been reviewing a ton of Stratocaster style guitars on this channel and I'm finally breaking out of that sort of mold and, and trying something different. So we'll check it out. This here is the Jet JJ350 GR. Uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful guitar. You can see that there. It's sort of an offset, uh, what is it, Mustang body style or even almost like a uh, Jazz Master style. I guess they call that the offset, but it's got a really pretty semi-transparent green uh, finish on it, so you can see sort of the grain in it. A uh, really neat uh, tortoiseshell pick guard on it. So let's talk about this guitar real quick. Uh, let's pull up the specs here from the Jet website. Uh, the model number is the JJ350. This is the GR, since it's green, it's not the black. And uh, we got chrome hardware. Uh, this is a Canadian maple, roasted maple neck. So that's kind of nice. Uh, it's the modern C-shaped neck. Uh, it's a 9.5 inch uh, fretboard radius, 1.65 inch nut. This is supposedly a bone nut. Um, double action truss rod, 25.5 inch scale length, 22 frets. This would be a basswood body. And these are just ceramic uh, humbuckers. Uh, it says Jet's own spec for the uh, uh, the uh, pickups. Uh, and it says these are nickel covers. That's kind of cool. And this is a fixed bridge. It's a through string through the body, and it's got this. I think is this the considered the tunomatic bridge? It doesn't have that uh, odd tailpiece because it's, it's through the body. So it's sort of half of that uh, bridge that you see on Gibson Les Pauls. Uh, this is supposedly a rosewood, actual rosewood uh, fretboard. Again, a roasted maple neck. Uh, the tuning keys on it are kind of interesting. They're, they're almost the Butterbean style tuners on the, on the tuning key itself, but on the back they're the regular enclosed tuners. Uh, we got a little string tree, access to the truss rod, uh, bolt-on neck, heel plate, uh, cream binding all around the top, which is pretty nice. Three-way switch, one tone, one volume. I don't believe it's a split coil. Nope, it isn't. And uh, guitar, you know, cable jack right there in the front. And then just the standard sort of... Uh, vintage style uh, strap buttons. Uh, basswood body, if I didn't mention that. And as you can see, it's a really, really sharp looking. It's almost black, but it's it's really a just a dark green. Uh, frets are nice. They're, I don't know what those would be considered. I'd have to look it up. Uh, it doesn't say in the specs, but uh, these are probably medium jumbo. They're pretty, they're pretty wide, but they're not real tall. And the action on it seems pretty good. It's a little high down here when you get past the 12th fret, so we could probably adjust that pretty easily. Uh, intonation was, was fine. 
Um, I bought this from the store, but it did come in the box. It's just your average wedge-shaped box with all the necessary padding in it to keep it from getting damaged in shipping. So if you buy one of these um, you know, online or something, it should arrive safely. Um, so it's pretty lightweight, but not neck heavy. Uh, we'll put it on a strap and see if that, uh, how it balances. And so enough yakety yakking, let's get to playing. Okay, so I got it all set up, uh, pretty, pretty well tuned up, I think. Okay, so this is a dual humbucker. Uh, we're gonna put it on the, I believe this is the, yep, bridge position. And we'll just do a sort of a clean channel. I'm using uh, Morgan Amps Suite. Uh, I've talked about that before. I'm gonna actually do a review on it one of these days. Um, so I don't know if you're into the amp modeling plugins and things like that, but I like to use those because they're easier to record everything uh, for demonstrations. Uh, rather than setting up an amp and mics and all that other stuff, so. Good tone. Then here's middle position. So both, both humbuckers. And then finally the neck position. Okay, so let's uh, put a little distortion on it. <clears throat> So yeah, it sounds really good. Um, let's throw a, a little bit of a track on here. We'll do something with some backing track. Just so you can hear kind of how it sounds in a mix. If I knew how to play really well, uh, so improvised soloing isn't exactly my my thing. But 
but yeah, I, I think it sounds great for a uh, fairly inexpensive guitar. I know it's a little higher price point than uh, a lot of the guitars that I've been reviewing and, and the guitars that we've been talking about kind of on this channel and in these sort of uh, communities and groups on like Facebook and whatnot that we're kind of, uh, you know, reviewing uh, cheaper guitars and playing cheaper guitars and kind of into these uh, cheaper models, but it, I think it's I think it was 350, so that's not that's not terrible. Um, I think it's a little nicer. I think you get more for your money um, with this particular uh, guitar. So I think the jump in cost actually translates to a little bit better quality. Uh, the only sort of drawback I think is the is the basswood body. Uh, which, you know, I don't know, I'm kind of fixated on the alder and ash, which tone-wise tone doesn't really do anything for you. It's just it's a heavier body. It'll set better uh, on a strap. Uh, that's another thing that reminds me. We try to find a strap, and we can put that on and see how, how balanced it is. And then we'll jump around with it a little bit not too bad let me put the strap on the right way so you can actually see it so it's it's pretty good it's it's balanced pretty well I mean the neck's not diving um, so that's not too bad I I think it's it's pretty weighty for you know the material that it's made out of basswoods basswood can be hit or miss as far as uh, how light it is. But this one's actually balanced pretty good. So yeah, so that's kind of my only complaint uh, is the, the body wood. But the finish is great. It's a beautiful guitar. The stain is gorgeous. I do like these uh, tortoise pick guards. Some people don't like them. Um, and then the cream, cream knobs and binding and everything kind of gives it a little bit of a retro look. And then they've got a neat sort of uh, almost a prismatic uh, logo uh, like those laser hologram type logos is almost what it looks like um, so yeah this is a really nice guitar um, like I said a little bit higher higher budget uh, guitar I'm going to review some more uh, guitars I think I'm going to get a, a Yamaha Pacifica because a uh, commenter basically called like the Stratocaster or the yeah the Stratocaster debut the Squire debut a toy they said it was no better than a toy and that a Yamaha Pacifica would blow it out of the water I've played a couple of the, the Yamaha Pacificas I wasn't really that impressed with them I'm gonna get one just to you know not to be a know-it-all or anything and you know tell you know tell this guy that he's wrong but just to just for my own curiosity to see you know and this act guitar is actually more than the the Yamaha the Pacificas are like 220 or something like that. So I think I'm going to pick up one of those. And I think I'm going to get a Fender Made in Mexico Strat too because I'd like to compare that to uh, these other cheaper guitars. And then I'm going to do a recap of a setup because some people made some comments and made some criticisms, which that's fine. You know, if I'm doing something wrong, I don't, you know, I don't care if somebody corrects me. So I'm going to kind of go through a setup again and kind of change my methods so that you know some of the things that they said made sense and then I looked up some things and and so I'm going to redo the setup and kind of correct some of the mistakes that I made so anyway there you go that's it that's the uh what was it called again that was the JJ350 GR green there's another one called the BK which is black and uh yeah double humbucker Great guitar, check it out. Uh, there's kind of limited places where you can get these. So if you want to go to the link to my buddy's shop uh, in Harbor Beach, he's a dealer for them. Uh, I'm not sure where else. I don't know if you can get these on Amazon or not. If you can, I'll post a link there also. So anyway, uh, thanks for uh, being patient with me uh, as far as uh, being off sick. And uh, I'm going to try to get some more videos going here so that we have regular uh, content to watch and uh, I'm going to kind of schedule things out so that uh, uh, there's no gaps so 
instead of just uploading a bunch of stuff all at once, I'm going to schedule things out so we got maybe a few times a week that uh, videos will show up. Now, if you have suggestions for a video, please feel free to post in the comments. I'm always looking uh, for ideas. Uh, you know, there's a lot of cheap guitars out there. So, I mean, I could fill this room with cheap guitars. I'm not sure exa exactly that I want to do that, but uh, maybe if there's pedals you're interested in, in seeing, or uh, I'm going to start doing some maybe recording techniques uh, using Reaper. And uh, uh, I'm going to talk about my bass rig and uh, my live rig because uh, we're just getting into uh, practicing with bands. So, because our, our festival season is about to start. And so if there's anything you want to see, feel free to comment. And I appreciate everybody tuning in. I appreciate the subscribers too. We're getting, we're getting pretty close to that. We're past 500, so we're going to be at 1,000 pretty quickly. Uh, it's going to take a lot less time this time around than it did the first time I ran the channel. So uh, anyway, again, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.